The second, second one is a 10-9, 10-9 to Leon Edwards. And and that's where I didn't see that. And Usman definitely, can we say in he my took opinion, four? In my opinion, We can all say four. he took four, right? Five is the one that we're debating. Welcome back to the Red Crew. We are here after a long day. Recapping UFC 286, Kobe Co- oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Kobe uh, Covington, the Kumaro Uzman world champion. <laughs> versus Leon Edwards, or let's put respect on his name. Leon Edwards versus Kumaro Uzman. Uh, can you pull up the you pulled up the scorecard? The scorecard. I got uh, it. All right, let's go. Okay, so what do you want to say? Who uh, won? Uh, how did the three judges score? First round, 10-9. For Leon, 10-9 for Leon, 10-9 for Leon. So everybody gave the first round to Leon. Okay. I got that. Second round, 10-9 for Leon, 10-9 for Leon, and then 9-10 for Usman. Let's stop there. I don't have a problem with that. I feel like that was the closest round of the entire fight. I feel like the second round, I told Matthew from the first one, I was like, that one could have gone either way. I gave it to Usman, but... I feel like that could have gone. In. Who did you give that? The second round, I think Usman. Usman, and I think Usman. It, but I, I, I knew it from the phone. That one is not for sure because that's where the knee <laughs> landed. And what was it? the body kick? The body mm-hmm. kick, right? It, but Usman got a takedown and he got a flurry in there, so it was very even. So, yeah, so I mean, it just goes down to how yeah. you score it. Like, are you scoring the knee that important? I mean, obviously, it was important. I mean, you can't take a knee and say it's not important. Yeah. But um, in terms of, you know, his reaction to it stayed in the game. So, I don't know. That's kind of how I score things, like yeah. how how you react to the strike. Yeah. And, mm. uh, okay, so third round. Third round. Third round was the one where they took one point away from – Leon Edwards. So one judge scores at a tie because of nine nine. Nine nine. Yeah, okay. it's nine nine, but he was it was ten nine for Leon. Yeah. We take a point from Leon. A second judge scores at eight ten because of the point. And the third judge scores at eight ten. So both of those give it to Kamara Usman. And so how how we end up with our final score, I don't quite because of nine nine. For that one at least. Because I'm and here's where I have a problem. But that would mean that that round is Kamar Usman's then. No, Unanimous, it, no, or a uh, majority. It is. Oh, for for it you is. mean for the third round? Yeah. For yeah. the for the second two. Uh, yeah, the second four. two score an eight ten, and then the first one score. The fourth a, round is nine, where nine. I have a problem. Did everybody give it to Leon Edwards? No, no. So surprisingly, the one who gave the the third round to Leon. Gave the fourth round to Kamaru. That's the first scorecard. That's the first one. The second, second one is a 10-9, 10-9 to Leon Edwards. And and that's where I didn't see that. And Usman definitely, can we say in he my took opinion, four? In my opinion, We can all say four. he took four, right? Five is the one that we're debating. I like uh, Usman in five, but in four, we're pretty much all what was unanimous. Five? What was five, five? unanimously, everybody get, get I yeah, I agree Us, with that. Get Edwards. I gave it to Leon. I, and who did you give it to? Five, I think, could have went other way, but I lean towards Leon. Yeah, I gave it to Leon. You gave it to Usman. To Usman, yeah. So, for the most part, everybody agrees one and five Leon, with the exception of Matthew on one, on one, but he agrees on, on... On one. He agrees on one, doesn't agree on five, but everybody else agrees on five. So, I guess everybody is okay with five. Two, that, we two all definitely. agree that is in is the he? air, right? Two that, in the air, three and four Usman. Three and four is where I felt Usman. And I said it. I don't know if you remember, Luis. I said it. Yeah, it could have been a 9-9 because maybe Leon edged it. But to me, for it to be a 9-9, you got to completely win that round. And he didn't completely win that round. Mm-mm. So to me, that's that's, that, that's two points right there, dude. Yeah. So That's why, to me, the in my opinion, I have no problem with the 47-47, which makes it a, a, draw. a, a draw. draw. And Leon Edwards yeah. is a champion. And I'll see you again in three months. Yeah, and Leon Edwards is a champion. But that's what so one judge had it 47 47. Yeah. Which I honestly I didn't have it 47 47. I had it, I gave the second round to Usman, so that would have edged. Well, it that's what him. made it 47 47, giving the second round to Usman. Yeah, and but he has four also. I would have given I would have given the fourth to Usman. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Which they gave we, to We Leon. all would have given to Usman off all, all yeah. three of us. Yeah, I agreed. And that's where I'm like, I don't know what they saw there. 
if well, that's Justin the thing. The, the, the first, the first person, the first judge, gave the first round to Usman, the fourth round to Usman. So that one is still forty-eight, forty-six. How can you do that math? <laughs> so look, because that same judge gave that r- the, the nine, third nine. round to yeah. So there he gets his point back. Exactly. Yeah, there he gets his point back. Um, there you go. Okay, but I told Matthew. Uh, he, because Matthew was secure that second round was Usman. I was like, that one's close, and they are in England. I was like, that one's close, and they are in England. Like, so that's where it, it, hometown rarely matters. In it matters today. It, it, when it's that close, I think it matters. Does it have the the strikes statistics? I'm sure I can pull them up. They were so even. Like, but one was head, the other one was leg. I think one should slightly matter a little bit more. Right. I don't know. The, the only thing I would say is... Um, You'd rather me kick you in your leg or punch <laughs> you in your face? I would, the only thing I would say is like... like I, I think it's different when we're talking about the Marab fight where you take down and the guy pops up, you take down. But I think in a fight like this, and I'm not saying it happened exactly like this, but if you take someone down and you don't really land any strikes and they pop right back I, up... A hundred percent. What does that takedown really mean? A hundred percent with you. And I, I, I was saying it during the fight. I was like, Usman's gonna be in trouble if he doesn't yeah, he's do something keep him down. with the takedowns. Yeah. And and I was saying he, because Edwards kept getting away, and they weren't as as egregious as the Marab fight. The Marab fight, it was over and over and over and over, and you could tell yeah. that Jan couldn't do anything. Usman did through six, seven, and. Three of them, four of them, five of them were getting completely uh, stuffed. The other one he held them against, but it was never really any damage, from my opinion. Marab, he was throwing 10, 15, 16, 17. And at that point, it's like, all right, there's nothing you could do. This guy is just oh, yeah, it was definitely overwhelming. In, yeah, yeah, so. In volume. Yeah, and and I agree with Isaiah's. I don't, am I, I do, I have no problem. I don't think it was a robbery. I, I, I don't nah, see. No, definitely not a robbery. I don't see the 48, 46. But I don't. I don't think it was a robbery. I don't think Usman did enough. I to think more proper would be a draw. Mm-hmm. And I think you know, who else for them to fight? Fight each other yeah. again. Yeah. I mean, I I like to see Colby. Colby's probably my favorite at one seventy. It's so funny. That division is so funny. I don't. I think Colby and Usman fight ten times, and Usman wins nine of them. And but I don't see in what world because like we were talking about. I think uh, Kobe Covington can do to Marab what <laughs> I'm sorry to to, to Edwards. Edwards what Marab did to Jan. Can you do me a favor? Can you pull up, please, uh, if you can find out how many takedown attempts? Uh, I think it was forty. Kobe Covington had oh. versus uh, I forgot his name, Robbie Lawler, <laughs> and. That because Kobe Covington has done that before, and you could tell that that. Do you feel like Usman slowed down a little bit? Yeah. From 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 peak Usman. Did he uh, look any different to you? Maybe yeah, but that's very realistic for that to happen. Yeah, I feel like honestly, I, I think, don't. Feel- I mean, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah. I think the more realistic thing to look up is like, because that was so long ago. Like, I think the more realistic thing to look up is how. How many takedown attempts did Covington have against Masvidal? I mean, obviously, yeah, the game. Significantly the, less, though. I think that's what I'm saying. I think that could be more of a realistic. No, but thing. I think it was less because he got him down. Like if he wouldn't have got him down, he well, probably would have like been more. Him down. Yeah, he held yeah. him down and kept him there. So you can only yeah. attempt a lot of takedowns if they get up. If they yeah, if they get up, and the thing is that Masvidal couldn't. So that that was the whole thing. Is like yeah. I see with uh, but Marab, I, the the game plan was to just shoot a lot like whether i get you down like not every shot i'm making is to actually take you down mm-hmm. i just want you to be thinking about the takedown all the time i strike 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 hit your legs you stop my just, takedown the- i come back out i throw a punch on the break and then right. get back Kobe yeah well i would get that strategy but i'm just i think from a wrestling standpoint edwards is better than masvidal totally. yeah yeah but oh yeah oh absolutely but, which could lead to maybe he can't get down edwards 
But oh, I feel like that the, is. I feel like the gap between really Masvidal good. and Covington was so big. There's a lot of room for in between, <laughs> and I feel like that's where Edward falls well, in. Well, so Edwards has probably had like the last three camps on basically just takedown. No, and I think that here's the difference. I feel like, in my opinion, because you could be right, it it could be that Leon Weber, uh, Leon Edwards was that damn good. I yeah. feel like yeah. Usman try to take him down more with. You know, skill with strength, with like it. He, I don't think he was trying to overwhelm him. I think yeah. he was nah, he's to, he's not a volume. Yeah, fighter. I don't. And 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 Covington is. Do you have it? Yeah, Covington got ten out of eighteen. With ten Robert out of Lawler. eighteen. That's pretty. So eighteen for Robert Lawler. You know what I mean? And it was so. It was such an easy like fight for him. And at that time, Robbie Lawler was still decent. You know Robbie what I mean? Lawler's Still fighting right now at one. Yeah, but winning. now we know he's past his prime. But at that time, Robbie Lawler was still a, a legitimate contender. And that's what I mean. Like, he just controlled him. And I'm, I'm pretty sure the Masvidal is way less because he was able to keep him down and hold him down and, and all that stuff. I Actually, don't. I'm not sure if he's still fighting. I might be wrong. Uh, but yeah, Kobe Covington is a problem for everyone that's not called. I think mean, I was thinking of Eddie Alvarez. <laughs> Yeah, like, so I I asked this question. I think Kamaru Usman should retire. Not because he's done or washed up or nothing, but I'm like, that guy has nothing left to prove. He, they're not going to let him fight Edwards again. He makes a shitload of money. I don't think he's... I think that money... And he doesn't, he doesn't take that much damage. I mean, maybe he could fight like Conor or something. But you think Conor would take that fight now? Yeah. He won't take it. Yeah, anymore. probably not. Yeah, Connor won't take it. <laughs> Connor won't take that. I think fight. Connor would take it, but there'd have to be something attached to it. Like if I beat you, I'm fighting for the belt, which that would make all the no, sense. No, but uh, let's be honest. Connor could be anybody, and he could fight next for the like. He doesn't have to fight that hard of a fight. This is fair, but you know, Connor, it, Connor's you're fighting Connor's ego. You're not fighting Connor. I think he's smart too. I, I don't. See- I don't think he. That's a fight that he would want. But no, I don't. I don't see that. The only he's not way- calling out Colby Cummington. Wouldn't do that either. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like he talks all the shit, but he's he is very deliberate in his uh, shit talking. You know, Connor wants to fight somebody at 170. Kevin Holland. Kevin. He Holland. wants to fight him. No, but if he wants to fight somebody at 170, yeah, but I think he'll fight anyone. Huh? I think he'll fight anyone. I do. I, that's what I'm I saying. You're fighting fight Connor's. Him. You're fighting Connor's I'll ego. Over there. But it has to make sense. If he can make, you know, two men. 10 million, whatever. I don't know what his numbers look like. But he can fight you and me and he'll make 20 million. That, <laughs> I don't think I don't think that's the problem, to be honest. Th- that's what I'm saying. <laughs> if if I'm gonna fight Kamara Usman for 10 million and I'm gonna fight fucking I don't know, Chandler for nine million, give me Chandler. Absolutely. hundred percent Because if I win this one, my next one's for fifteen million or twenty million. Like yeah. just because people buy back into the fucking Connor train. That's the whole thing. You, he just needs people to buy back into him. You got the 170 ranking? I sure do. Like, Connor can fight. I'm telling you, Kevin Holland, man, that would kill him pay per views. And this, that would kill Where do you people. want to start from? Uh, from top? No, nah, 15 to like 8. <laughs> uh, So from the bottom. Yeah. Kevin Gaslum, 14, Chris Cordes, 13, uh, Andre Moon. That's Moose. middleweight. You said 170. Oh, yeah. 170s. That's on me. That's on me, guys. I'm sorry. 15. I was like, he's not fighting those guys. <laughs> like, Kevin Gaston was huge. <laughs> 15. Uh, is it Michael or Michelle? Michelle, Michelle Pereira. Pereira. Michelle Pereira. That's 14. Cowboy, Jack De La no. Madalena. 13. Michelle. Michael. Michael Kinesa. Michael Kiesa. Kiesa. Michelle Kiesa. 12. Neil Magny. Thir- uh, 11. George Masvidal. 10, Vincente Luque, 9, Sean Brady, <laughs> 8, Joff Neal. Yo, no. is Kevin Holland not ranked? No. Kevin Holland? Nope. No, he's a 185 right now. He's where's, playing 185. Where's Where's uh, Wonder Boy? He's 7 or 6. Wonder Boy. 170, but I think they did like a catch weight or something. Wonder Boy, yeah, is Steven that. Thompson? Yeah, 7. There's the fight. That is we'll a fight. fight. There's but a fight. The, but they're friends. I don't think... Well, they'll do it. Who? So who's are fight? Holland and... No, there's the fight that he could have. <coughs> who? With Connor. Oh. <laughs> That's a bad fight. For Connor? Yeah, I agree. But I don't think there's a good one. 
Look at, no, I'm not saying there's not a good one. He could be Jeff Neal. He could be Michelle Pereira. But that's, the, those fights aren't going to happen. Well, I think I know. I think he could fight Wonder Boy. I just I, the he's cash get, cow of a fight is Masvidal. We he, know that that good. that fight will break every record that ever exists. Well, he's his best win uh, chance would be Masvidal. Yeah, he, I think he'd beat Masvidal with his new build, his size, you know, and his power he already had. I think he would have beat him before. I think right now, you know, now he a lot easier to beat him. That is that, but that's the cash cow of a fight, and I, I'm with Dana. Hold that fight off. I honestly hold that fight off. That fight will never end. You can fight that fight, put that fight on whenever. So I agree. Don't put that fight on yet. I have, who at 170 outside of bringing up 155ers? Because that's probably the best play to bring up 155ers and fight him with 170. That's what he's done his whole career. Keep doing it. Michael Chandler is the best move. That's a big name. He's entertaining. He'll sell anything. And. But uh, for you to sell a fight at 170 that he's the favorite in, and he won't be the favorite against Stephen Thompson, I don't think so. <laughs> That's not a great fight for him. I think he uh, can beat Stephen Thompson, though. He I just, can. I just don't. He's not going to. I don't think he wins scorecards. I think he has to knock him out, which I think would be how that would probably happen. <laughs> uh, oh, he has to knock him out. Yeah, but I, I think he could knock him out. I think he's got the power and the, you know. His chin's not bad. Uh, neither of them, obviously, but uh, Connor. So, like, he's gonna take more of the volume. Yeah, and honestly, the fight is the fight is Nate Diaz. Just bring him back. <laughs> just, just bring him back. That's the fight. Or Tony Ferguson. Well, that's why these guys are getting out of their contracts, so they can go and take these fights and negotiate much more effectively. Or bring up Tony Ferguson. Hmm. That'd be a fight. That'd be a fight to watch. But again, they're all 155ers. I mean, if he comes back and he doesn't have to drop weight and he's going to fight for a fucking million dollars, yeah, oh, I'll fight Connor. That's what I mean. But at 170. Uh so uh the next fight that we see. Now, Leon Edwards, right? Champion. I agree. Your next two fights should be Jorge Masvidal Conor McGregor. I'm sorry. I I maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. These guys have to make money. And with all due respect, fighting Kumar Usman will not make you nearly enough money as fighting Conor McGregor or Jorge Masvidal. Those guys are the cash cows. Kobe Covington is under them, and Kobe Covington will make you money, but not as much as these two guys. It just won't happen. And you have to make your money. Yeah, who cares? And then fight fight McGregor, who's not ranked, and then fight Masvidal, who's 11. Who cares? And after, after what he showed in the wait, ring wait, to, wait, who are you talking about, though? To Leon Edwards. Oh, fight Leon Edwards. Money. Fight. Like fight for the money and then let Kobe come in and beat you. Yeah, but I mean, there's also just the the status quo where you have to kind of keep it within uh, a reasonable. So, in other words, Connor needs to win one fight. In other words, beat Chandler, and then if uh, yeah, it's not on Edwards to make that fight happen. It's on those guys to win. Yeah, he would take that fight. That's what I'm saying. Anytime. I think it's such a big mistake they're having Masvidal fight burned. But I think Burns is a winnable fight. It is a winnable fight, but again, it's not. I don't think it is. I don't think it's even close. I think it's. Uh, I think it's a fucking washout. Uh, I don't think Burns is gonna be able to submit him. I, I think Burns think, submits him easy. I don't think so. Is it nobody submits him? And no. I don't. I think Burns is gonna have a tr- trouble time, maybe even getting him down. I don't uh, think that at all. He's very durable. The guy doesn't get finished that much. He might not have. He might have zero wrestling, but he doesn't get he finished. He has zero wrestling. He doesn't get finished. So. And the thing is, he's definitely well rounded, but it's just these specialists like that. That I mean, doesn't get finished. But you're talking about Durismo, like I think Burns said something dumb. <laughs> he said, "I'm not gonna wrestle him. Don't do that. Wrestle him." That's where he could get in trouble if he doesn't wrestle. Him. I think he, I <laughs> agree. Yeah, don't wrestle him, and because I think he would beat him on the stand up too. However, oh, no, I don't think that. Uh, I think he could, but I think it'd be risky. I think, I think he's he got could. power in his hands, but it's way too risky to do that with somebody who he knows who he's fighting. He's a good kickboxer, very good kickboxer. No, yes, uh, he is a good kickboxer, but he got knocked about Kamaru Usman. You see, what? He got knocked out by Kamaru Usman very easily. Is it Kamaru Usman very very good? <laughs> he is. <laughs> We saw him. He, he yeah, stood like, we up. can't forget that. He <laughs> basically stood up the whole fight right now with fucking Leon Edwards. And no, but I agree with you. Up. Burns is a winnable fight. 
The problem is, I look. There's a run on joke here. I'm a big Masvidal fan. Do I think he should be fighting for the title? No. Now, do I? Understand? But that's because you love him, huh? Well, that's because you love him. That he shouldn't be fighting. Yeah. For? Okay. No, I don't get it. Because you love him, you don't want him. Be, you want, don't want to get beat up that bad. No, no, no. He has to fight for the title as much as he can because anybody can get a lucky punch. <laughs> no, but well, what I'm I mean, saying, what has he fought twice for it already? Yeah, but he's fought not because he's a great fighter, because he's a superstar. Absolutely. And superstars, McGregor. Let's be honest, we love McGregor. Make super here. fights. McGregor too. McGregor. How many fights has he won at 155? When was the last time he fought at 155? He's fought. He's won what one? Or two. The last fight I he's remember won him one winning fight was Donald Let's be honest. And every time, this guy's always putting, he's always in the title picture. He beat Eddie Alvarez at 155. Nobody else that I remember. So. What what weight class was Donald? Cerrone? They fought at 170. They fought at 170. Oh, okay, who's see? not a 170 guy? Yeah. So he beat two people at 155. Though. Yeah, I guess. Two, two, two 155ers. But like at 155, he won one fight. Mm-hmm. And but I agree with you. He should be in the title picture. Well, and then he beat uh, uh, Diaz. Uh, beat three one fifty fivers. Yeah, he beat he beat Diaz again at one seventy. So uh, again, he's won more fights at one seventy and one fifty five. He probably does good at one seventy. That's so true. I think. Like I think he does good at one seventy. I think the main thing is just he needs he needs a long enough camp, which I think he's had. That this time around, he better. He better. Well, the good thing is the f- the person he fight he's fighting also gasses out. <laughs> Who's he fighting? Yeah. Chandler. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> he another guy who gasses out, like another muscle bound, like fast twitch guy. Their muscles are very fast. They hit very hard, but they don't last very long. So that's what I agree. You're right. If those guys win, there's no doubt who Leon Edwards fights. No doubt. Because and he should, man. I'm sorry, Kobe Covington has earned it, but that's not how this game works. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't even say Kobe Covington's earned it. He only huh? just, he's coming off. Uh, you think he could deserve the title shot? Well, he won his last fight. Who's who beats Kobe Covington? No, but you're right. You're right. He should fight more. No, there's one thing saying who beats Covington, but who this thing saying? There's one thing saying you do your, deserve a title shot. Well, if not him, then who? Yeah. I mean, I would say Bilal has earned a title shot more than Covington. He That's 155, bro. Bilal beat... Bilal's a 70 pounder. He, oh, he's not. No, he is. Bilal beat Steven... Oh, Wonder Muhammad. Boy. I'm thinking uh, Darius, sorry. No, Bilal beat Wonderboy. Mm-hmm. And then who? No, yeah, Bilal... Sean Brady. That's the real deal. Sean Brady and Bilal. Well, why not just uh, Bilal fucking Covington? Because they're not a star. And Covington... And Covington Coving- is the one who sells the fights when Covington's in a... But a does he... That, let's be honest. That's why he's playing this character. Yeah, well, but, regardless, I mean, oh. so is Connor. Like, but Connor's been a, a bit more genuine. Like, he he's closer to his character, a hundred percent. And that's why I've said we always go back. To, unfortunately, we talked about Justin Gaethje. Justin Gaethje's not a character; he's a superstar. It's some guys who just have it genuinely. They can just sell the fight genuinely. And Conor McGregor genuinely is charismatic. Like he's cool to be around. Like, no, yeah, he's, he's like, just a cool person. Masvidal, he Mas- just takes he just takes it up like two notches. Yes, just, they to just sell they just turn it up. Masvidal is a street fighter. We've seen it when he was in YouTube and all that. Kimbo Slice. That's all real. That's not make believe. We know Covington doesn't. It's not what he is. We saw what he was before. We see what he is now. We see that's a character. I think. Well, that it's it. What it comes down to is fighting styles. So and his style sucks that's that's also why I think you know there's slight edge towards uh, maybe giving a round to Leon Edwards here and there just because stylistically people like striking better. strikers yeah. yeah who doesn't so it's it grapplers like strikers better and that's why it's crazy when you get the Ronda Rouseys or the Conor McGregor's or those guys who are legit and they are the real deal I think the closest thing is probably Khabib who was both. Yeah, Khabib is just undeniable. You can hate his style and want to watch him And Adesanya fight. was the other one. Adesanya, who was a superstar and legit. And now Pereira coming up and But he's showing. not a superstar. Like, he's going to be a superstar if he puts him out again. Well, you got to learn English. Like he He's going to have to like bring that. That story matters. Unfortunately, the story matters in, in UFC. Like, mm-hmm. But I mean, highlights can do a lot for you, though. Like... I think DC became a superstar after John Jones. Like you need that rub, you need that, you need that storyline. Yeah, you need that storyline, and it is what it is. But anything else I want to say? 
cool, man. It was good fights. Not the most fun in the world, but it was good fights. Very competitive night. We are, unfortunately, some scheduling things, but we are planning to be here. Not all of us, but we are planning to be here for April 8th. Adesanya versus uh, Pereira, like eight or whatever it is now. <laughs> <laughs> Like the Fast and Furious movies. <laughs> like, like, yeah. The Fast and Furious movies. I'm tuning into that for sure. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, but we we are planning to be here. We definitely gonna set a preview and hopefully a recap. So, uh, from Luis, Matthew, Isaiah, Chesco, peace, peace. peace.